right guys I'm gonna redo this again yesterday when I was doing the uh, the 20,000 miles I kinda the video kinda came out kinda messed up so I'm gonna redo this right now but but yeah guys <laughs> welcome back to another video so this is gonna be the 20,000 miles on the R3 and it's been six years since I've owned the, the bike so I'm gonna let you know my experience overall and pretty much the good uh, the good the bad and what I need to do next after hitting the 20,000 miles uh, damn then I hit the light but all right guys but yeah so it's been six years since I got the bike I lay I put up some pictures right here when I got the bike it was clean fresh and I'm just gonna double check to see how many miles it had when I got it I think it was 2500 miles so yeah you can kind of see how many miles I put in from uh, to 20,429 that's a little bit more from uh, from yesterday I think that's 10 miles more <laughs> but but I guess let me wait for the light to change and I just got a bug in my eye oh geez I'll catch you back when I'm riding back I'm gonna need some gas so it's a good time to kind of recap on the 20,000 miles again <laughs> hopefully I can remember what I said before if not whatever I'm just telling my experience, so no worries guys, see you soon. Oh. Whew, okay, no worries guys. Before I talk about my experience, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. We're gonna hit the uh, thousand subscriber mark. So hopefully by the end of the year. And uh, comment down below if you guys are interested of anything or owning the RS3. But all right, guys. Let me get into it. So six years, twenty thousand miles. It's been great. So the first month since I owned the bike, it was back in twenty seventeen, I believe. I'll double check. I'll put it up here. But literally, the first month since I had the bike, me and my buddy decided to go on a long trip. It was to Yellowstone. So. I'll post up some pictures here of uh, the trip along the way. We stopped at a, a good views, scenery, and along the way, we actually went through some Indian reservations. Like you can kind of see on the picture right here, the huts, the land. It was a beautiful sight. So, but along the way it was cold because we went through over a mountain and at the time there was barely winter was breaking so we decided uh, along the way to go buy some uh, jackets and luckily the Indian reservation was there so we bought some uh, it looks like not handmade but some good jackets I'll say it's like they had some embroidery on it like with their logo of their tribe so if i can find a picture or if i can find a jacket i'll take a picture and post it up right here but it, it was pretty fun all right guys so yeah we got the jackets we went through the reservations and the first stop that we went or the first scenery that we stopped along the trip it was Mount Rushmore we didn't stay a day, a day but we arrived at a good time because we went to the backwoods of Mount Rushmore it was pretty fun here's a little picture at the side of a road it was pretty nice it was right behind the uh, the heads of the the presidents there but the bad thing about it when we were leaving because we had a warning that there's gonna be a tornado <laughs> there was a tornado watch so while we were riding down uh, it started raining so hard we were being hit really hard with the rain 
Uh, so luckily we had the uh, some waterproof jackets and underneath we had the uh, the jackets we got from the uh, reservation but still we got soaked from top to, to pretty much our feet but we stopped at a restaurant we ate and the next reservation not reservation but we ended up going to Sturgis so another picture right here same trip guys so this is a different little pictures of uh, Sturgis we stayed at a we didn't even stay but we looked around we went to a bar we had, ate some dinner and took some pictures with uh, <laughs> Elvis and right after that we started going back on the road to Yellowstone so the trip was pretty much fun and that first trip was actually 3200 miles in total from Illinois to uh, Yellowstone so here's some other pictures of Yellowstone when we arrived and the cabin that we stayed at but you guys the first few thousand miles was literally the first couple of months of owning the bike and after that it was just been uh, five years and I've been using it to commute from work and some other trips that we went to not a like long distance but like going to some lakes around some trips Nah, so the rest of the miles were just gonna gather over the five years of me owning the bike. You can kind of see throughout the years on my videos, I've been uh, kind of gone through it with the bike of breaking it, fixing it, modifying it. If you guys want to see any kind of videos like that, I, I've done a lot of like replacing the rear sets the levers, the mirrors, even the oil pan, um, what else, a lot of stuff guys, but uh, the next step guys, because hitting 20,000 miles and if you have read the owner, owner's manual, you'll be able to see that when you hit 20,000 miles on the R3, it's pretty much time to change the chain, it's already been a while and I know it kind of needs it so when I'm going to change the chain I'm going to change the sprockets and I'm going to do some oil change or the brake fluid actually because it needs it it's been a while I know I've not done it so I'm going to do it all in one so if you see if you want to see those kind of videos guys subscribe comment down below if you what, what do you want to see first I'll make that video first but for right now I'm planning of pretty much Doing the chain, sprockets, uh, then the brake fluid, then I have some other parts too, like even the new fairings for the bike. So it'll be interesting, guys. So subscribe if you want to see anything else being uh, being made or my DIY projects. So yeah, guys, that's my experience, pretty much owning the bike for the past six years and hitting 20,000 miles on the bike. I'm still gonna keep the bike. I'm just gonna add to my collection. My next bike is gonna be uh, probably an R4. Oh, not an R4. <laughs> a Kawasaki Ninja 400. Uh, maybe a 650. But who knows? That's gonna be a separate kind of video, but guys, 20,000 miles on a 2015 Yamaha R3. It's been fun. Let's see what's the next 20,000 miles gonna be like. Because I know. I'm gonna keep this for fun. I'm just thinking about all the bigger bikes because I want to take longer trips. And for the R3, as a long trip kind of bike, it could do it. Like I did once I went to Yellowstone. But would I recommend it going on a long trip? I wouldn't. It's because at the time when I was riding the bike towards Yellowstone, I was a bigger guy, so I'm like around 200 pounds, no 200, 280, 270 and trying to ride the bike on highway speeds in a major highway 
along the way was the speed limit was 80 miles an hour so I was at pretty much 10,000 9,000 rpm along the way just trying to keep up with traffic the only way I kind of went through it I just went through the motions if I wanted to go faster I literally, literally needed to tuck in and just kind of tuck into the bike so if I wanted to pass a car or anything my friend was fine he had his uh, FZ6R he had enough speed to pass me to play around with me was, and I was gonna say guys that's the only thing that sucks that I did not have a GoPro at a time because if I did I would have uh, recorded it vlogged it and kind of shown everything along the trip so that was kind of more than the reasons I started this channel to kind of show the experience of riding it was pretty fun guys but <laughs> there we go my experience with the R3 for another long distance trip I'm gonna probably get a 650 ideally a thousand cc's like the uh, the Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX or the Jixxer 1000 or my dream bike will be the Kawasaki Ninja S what was it H2 SX SE plus that's a touring ver the version of the H2 has saddlebags everything's like uh, what was it called and grip warmers cruise control but that is a pretty pricey bike but probably for really gonna bike probably the 1000 SX Kawasaki that one does have saddlebags and the uh, adjustable windshield still with the grip warmers but that's all a separate video guys but all right my experience i know i keep on saying experience but yeah 20,000 miles all right guys if, that, if you like this kind of content subscribe hit the like button let's hit that thousand subscriber mark guys all right i'm gonna be heading towards getting some gas and heading home all right guys thanks for watching i'll catch you next time on the next video peace trying to get used to talking clearly and verbally that's the only tough part and kind of get my brain kind of process the words I want to say so uh, I don't cut I don't have to cut too much and cut off too many uh, ums and so's and <laughs> but you guys if you seen this kind of end of the clips right there thanks for watching you're the real ones I'm just trying to be better vlogger and a better communicator <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you